This story isn't close to being over. And I don't think you're stupid at all. But I do think you have a misguided idea about what friendship is. Would your research show you that? God showed me that. What is this? I'm an angel. No. No, no, I don't think so. That's... Oh, that would be... That would be a gift from God. Well, if God's really paying attention right now, then he knows that the Jed needs help, not me. So if you're really an angel, tell God to heal Jed. You don't tell God to do anything. You ask him. You pray to God for help, for healing. I don't think God would help Jed the way he wants help right now. Because God knows the difference between what Jed wants and what Jed needs. And so do you. Give me the pills. Busted by an angel. Can't do anything right. You've always tried to take away Jet's pain, but you can't take it away this time, Will. Yes, I can. I can end it. You spent your whole life protecting him, and now you want to help him die? That's what it takes. No, that's not what it takes. You both feel responsible for the fire that killed Jet's parents. God isn't looking for someone to blame, neither should you. I don't know what else to look for. Look for the truth. And the truth is that you've been hiding yourself and your life behind Jets ever since. He needed something, Monica. He needed something positive to hold on to. He had something. He had you and your father. <sighs> yeah, he had my father, all right. Your father loves you so much, Will. And so does Jet. They don't deserve your sarcasm. All they ever did was believe that you were the person you appeared to be. Loser. Somehow, you expected them to understand the sacrifice you were making. Even though I never let them know I was doing it. Can you say to me, can you say to God, that in your heart you were losing on purpose? It started out that way, but now I don't know. And now you'll never know, and that's the shame. You gave up so much to protect Jet. And all he really needed was your love and support. I screwed everything up. That's usually when you're ready to listen to an angel. Okay. Shoot. Don't hold back, Will. Live your life in truth. And then you'll know what real winning is. For it's not about being better or being faster. It's about loving. And God loves you. He really does. He gets such pleasure from the joy you take in flying down a mountain. He gave you the gift and he wants you to use it. But the greatest gift that God has blessed you with is your friendship with Jed. Let God help you to keep it alive. Save your friendship, Will. And let God save your friend. Well, you got a race in two hours, you know? to you. For what? For not being honest. For, for not being the son that you taught me to be. No, don't be ridiculous. No, Dad, listen to me. I know this is going to sound pretty strange. I let Jet win all those races. I never tried to beat him. You let Jet win him off? I don't know what I was doing, Dad. All I know is 
I never minded losing anything to a friend that had lost everything. Until I thought I was losing you. Oh, well. Well, you could never lose me. You're my son. There's not a person or a trophy in the world that could make me love you any less. I'm your dad. I'm very proud of you. Well, I got a race in two hours. There's something else I gotta do first. It's about time. What are you doing, making funeral arrangements? You're gonna think I've gone nuts. You don't need an insanity defense. Well, nobody's gonna know about this. Monica's an angel. Yeah, she's okay. She's all yours. No, really, I mean, Monica's an angel, like from God. I don't think I like where this is going. God doesn't want you to die, Jed. Neither do I. Really? So you and God had a little chat, huh? Decided I'd be better off spending the next 40 years propped up in a corner messing on myself? Is that what you're trying to tell me? We don't know what God has in mind. Even the angels don't know God's plan. Well, I know my plan. And I don't need you or God or angels to see it through. Jet, come on. Get out of here. Jet. I said get the hell out. You know what? You were right. I let you win at first. But then I got scared. And it was easier to let you win than to find out I couldn't beat you. That's nice. What are you gonna do now that you don't have me as an excuse anymore? I'm gonna love you. Like I always have. Jet, I have watched you ski, and I've watched you drive, and I've watched you uh, jump, I've watched you climb, I've watched you dive. You have what we refer to in my business as a death wish. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm an angel. I'm the angel of death, to be more precise. Why don't you just take me then? You know, Jet, you're, you're really not thinking this thing through. You don't really want to die. What? When your parents died. What happened? I wanted to die too. I should have died. No, you shouldn't have. But you took that event and you translated it into trying to find a way to get yourself killed. Were you there when my parents died? Yes. Then you know what happened. Was it the cigarettes? Does it matter? It seems to me what matters now is a friendship that has seen you through many, many difficult times. It is a friendship that means a lot to both of you. You've always looked out for each other. You've always been there for each other. So why, Jet? Why would you want to throw all that away now? When you need it most. Will you do me a favor? Yes. Do you know an angel named Monica? Well, listen to me, Monica. It's over. It's, it's over for him. It's over for me. I can't do this. Someone thinks you can. He says the winner always wears the red bandana. Is he going to be okay? He has the best friend in the world looking out for him. He said he'd be watching on TV. He expects a personal best.
just two days ago, first alternate to this U.S. ski team, now with a shot at winning the World Cup. And he'll ski with a heavy heart after the tragic accident that left childhood best friend Jet Rudin, odds-on favorite to win the race, paralyzed in a Salt Lake City hospital. Heller will have to beat the record time of 104.75, set by Jet Rudin in the qualifying race, to win. He's out of the start. That's a terrific start. Fastest time out of the gate we've seen so far today. Stay low. Gotta watch it going into those first two gates. Through the first quarter of the run, Heller is second fastest, only three tenths off the lead. Now this is where he had trouble in the qualifier. He'll have to watch it through this icy, rutted section of the course. Perfectly done. What a run. Heller's picked up two tenths. Now he's got a great shot at winning the race. Let's go, dude. You got it. Lost a little time there. He might have caught an edge going through that last gate. It's going to be close. And he's done it. Will Heller has won the World Cup giant slalom. A dream come true for Heller. And somewhere in a Salt Lake City hospital 30 miles away, Jet Rudin is celebrating. Heller with a hug for his dad. to get everything he knows. Will Heller, two days ago not even a member of the team, now he's the World Cup giant slalom champion. It looks like everybody scored a personal best this time, and not a minute too soon. My toes are frozen to my shoes. Well, we can't leave yet. Will has promised to teach me how to ski. Well, I know something we can do for our waiting test. It's called the luge. Luge? I don't like the sound of that. Coco. Coco. I like the sound of that, that's all.